Hello, my name is John Snow and I'm the programme leader for the creative and digital arts area of the college. In this short video, you're going to meet some of the team and find out a bit more about the courses that we run. Here at the college, we have the UAL Level 2 Diploma in Art and Design, the Level 3 Diploma and Extended Diploma in Art and Design, and the BTEC H&C and H&D in Art and Design. We cover from GCSC level all the way through to uh, university level courses. The courses we run are vocational, practical, and designed to give you the skills and the knowledge and the understanding you need to confidently progress onto university or employment at the end of your course. Let's hear from the tutors. They'll tell you a bit more about the courses. And if you are interested at the end to find out a bit more information or you have further questions, uh, there will be opportunities for you to engage in online group discussions or indeed one-to-one -one interviews. So look out for those at the end. I hope to see you here at the College of FE really soon. Hi, my name's uh, Charlie Towers, um, mostly teaching digital software, uh, but also do prosthetics, makeup, moulding and casting, that sort of stuff as well. Um, just talking about the kinds of modules that you'll uh, do on the course, um, there are only uh, 13 modules over the, over the two years, and you only do eight in your first year. But you'll cover a wide range of art design principles, from sculpture, moulding and casting, drawing, painting, research skills, theory, graphic design, prosthetics, props, animation, 3D printing, game make, making, filmmaking, photography and videography. Uh, and you'll use software like um, uh, Apple Final Cut Pro, Adobe Photoshop, most of the Creative Suite, Autodesk Maya, Mudbox, Unity, Blender and GarageBand. Lots and lots of different things. Um, the modules are organised, so we only really do three major projects throughout the whole of the year. Um, and units are linked into them. So there's a, a 2D problem solving unit that um, is everything to do with anything you do in 2D, uh, drawing, painting and digital as well. Uh, 3D, sculpture, moulding, casting, that sort of stuff. Um, and anything you do when it comes to producing 3D work, including games uh, and other stuff. And then 4D, which is time-based or time-based work. So that's anything to do with that takes time. So um, video, um, that sort of stuff, animation, stop motion, that sort of thing. Hello, I'm Ben Bailey. I'm a lecturer in art and design specialising in photography. If you come and study with us, you will get to work on a range of exciting and challenging creative briefs. You'll be taught by a range of highly skilled practitioners specialising in graphic design, photography, illustration, printmaking, drawing, painting, animation and 3D design to name a few. You'll get to experience some exciting creative opportunities within the community on island, as well as experiencing a trip off island every two years. Hi, my name is Ryan and I'm a lecturer in art and design. They say, to get a job, you need experience. But to get experience, you need a job. So our students engage with employers through workshops, talks from professionals and site visits. Our aim is to give each student a taste of the creative working world, whether it be through live projects, exhibition opportunities, or work visits. Experiencing this is important, so you can imagine what it's really like to work in the creative sector and get an idea of what key skills and personal qualities are essential. How will you be studying? You will be supported to produce a range of professional sketchbooks, which will become the basis of your own individual creative portfolio. These will explore contextual studies, practical skills, as well as other areas of research, and also be the opportunity to, for you to showcase some of the best practical outcomes that you've made on your time during the course. As the project briefs develop, they will become more independent, allowing you as a creative individual to explore your own areas of specialism. There will also be opportunities to get involved in exciting live project briefs, as well as public exhibitions in which to showcase your work. Hello, my name's Mark and I'm here to talk to you about the options that are available once you finish your course. As a level three student, a natural progression is either into a job on island within the creative industries or to go on to HE. This can be done by either going to the UK and going to a university where we have a really good reputation of producing high quality students, or you could stay on island and stay with our course and do a HND, which is equivalent to the first and second year of a degree course. As a level two student, again, there's an option of getting a job on Ireland or moving into our level three course and taking your education further. Whatever you decide to do is up to you.